Four American citizens kidnapped in Mexico, what we know so far. Last week, four American citizens were kidnapped in Mexico while attempting to purchase medication. The kidnapping occurred after the group crossed the border from Brownsville, Texas, into the city of Matamoros in Tamaulipas state. Mexican officials have confirmed that the Americans were assaulted and then detained by unidentified gunmen. Mexican President Andres Manuel López Obrador stated that the Americans were going to buy medication when a confrontation between groups led to their detention. The U.S. Ambassador to Mexico, Ken Salazar, confirmed that the Americans were kidnapped at gunpoint, and a Mexican citizen was killed during the attack. Salazar also mentioned that U.S. justice agencies are working with Mexican counterparts to recover the missing persons. Authorities have not released any information about the victims, except that they drove a white minivan with North Carolina plates. The FBI announced that the gunman fired upon the passengers in the vehicle, and the four Americans were placed in another vehicle and taken from the scene by the men. Tamaulipas Chief Prosecutor, Irving Barrios, said that a Mexican woman died in the attack, but it is unclear if she was killed in the same gunfight where the kidnapping occurred. Although the victims' names have not been released, Zalandria Brown of Florence, South Carolina, has confirmed that her younger brother, Zindel Brown, is one of the four victims. Brown's brother had accompanied two friends to Mexico, where one of them was scheduled to undergo tummy tuck surgery. The four friends planned to split driving duties for the trip, and they were aware of the dangers in Mexico. The State Department has warned U.S. citizens not to travel to Matamoros due to ongoing violence, and the FBI is offering a $50,000 reward for the return of the victims and the arrest of those involved in the kidnapping. The Gulf Cartel is currently based in Matamoros, and cartel violence has increased over the past 10 to 15 years in Tamaulipas, leaving thousands of victims uncounted. The four friends, according to Brown, were extremely close and had planned to split up driving duties for the trip. They were aware of the dangers in Mexico, she added, and her brother had expressed some misgivings. Zindel kept saying, we shouldn't go down, Brown said. This is like a bad dream you wish you could wake up from. To see a member of your family thrown in the back of a truck and dragged, it is just unbelievable. Zindel Brown's family asked people to share any relevant information with local authorities. Cartel violence has increased over the past 10 to 15 years in Tamaulipas, and violence within the state has left thousands of victims uncounted because the cartels have a history of taking bodies of their own with them. The Gulf Cartel is currently based in Matamoros which directly borders Brownsville, where U.S. Citizens frequently cross to travel deeper into Mexico, visit family, attend medical appointments, or shop. Although Matamoros was once a popular vacation spot and a relatively calm area, the State Department has warned U.S. citizens not to travel to the city due to ongoing violence. In 2014, three American siblings disappeared near Matamoros while visiting their father and were later found shot to death and burned. Their parents said they had been abducted by men dressed in police gear identifying themselves as Hercules, a tactical security unit in the city. The U.S. State Department has issued a Level 4, Do Not Travel Advisory for U.S. Citizens in Tamaulipas, citing crime and kidnapping there. The FBI is seeking the public's assistance in identifying those responsible for the assault and kidnapping and is offering a reward of $50,000 for the return of the victims and the arrest of those involved. The FBI, federal partners and Mexican law enforcement agencies are investigating, officials said. Anyone with information about the case is asked to call FBI San Antonio Division or submit a tip online.